Welcome back to the channel, Getting It Done. Getting It Done Fishing. You know what? Today we are going to get it done. We're going to get it done by talking about the easiest way to catch fish this time of the year. And you know what? You might be thinking, hey, I'll just go to my local store and I'll just pick up some night crawlers. No, not night crawlers, not live bait, but this technique and this way you'll guarantee to catch more fish. Sometimes you go out as we fish, you know, I personally like chatter baits. I, I love bladed jigs, chatter baits. Uh, and top waters, those are my two favorite lures that I, I love to throw. So, you know, typically that's how I start off a pond. But at this time of the year, I kind of get away from the top water and I kind of go back to, you know, kind of slowing it down a little bit, getting back into the chatter baits. That's the way I like to fish, you know. And when we get into, you know, further and further into the fall as we go, I'll go more into the lipless crankbaits and, and the whatnots. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about how to catch fish at this time of the year. You know, and again, this way, this technique is guaranteed to put more fish. You're going to catch more fish, and, and you're just going to get it done. Sometimes, like I said, you go out there. I'm a chatterbait guy, and you know what? I'm just not feeling it. This is the technique I go to. Sometimes the top water, I'm just not feeling it of anything I'm throwing out there. This is the technique I go. Because it's going to catch you more fish. And sometimes you just want to go out there and just catch fish. Yeah, I don't want to be bothered about, you know, finding a, a pattern or finding a school and trying to, you know, fire them up. All I want to do is just, just want to go around the bank and catch some fish, right? All right, so sometimes that happens too, right? That's, that's fishing, right? Not every time you want to go out there, you want to crush it. So here we go. This is it. You know, first off, we're going to start off with a, you got to go with the Berkeley Power Bait. It, it is the number one, for me, the number one worm. First off, they're, they're packed with, you know, the flavoring that they put in there or the, the product or the juice that they put in there. Bass just hold on to it. They'll just hold on to that and they won't let go. Again, as I said before, you know, I'll have a bass that grab that, hit that, and I'll just watch it swim. You know, I'll, I'll let that line out and it'll just swim around. It'll swim around that. Set that hook in and biggins all day long. So I always use Berkeley uh, Power Bay. You know, again, a lot of trout people, when I used to trout fish a lot, you know, I always used the Berkeley. I used those little nuggets or the dough. And again, it's packed with flavor, and the bass won't let go. And really what I'm talking about, those bass are moving up. And, you know, if, I don't want to really go into the whole fall pattern and, and, you know, how to fish in the fall. Kids that never, you know, that you want to teach how to fish and they have never caught a bass before. Or, you know, again, you haven't caught a bass before. You don't really need anything. You need two things, a package of these. And you can find these all over the place. You go to Walmart, you could go to Dick's, you could go to uh, Cabela's, Bass Pro, pretty much any place you want. Amazon, uh, any place you, you, you want to look at, they have them. Again, I particularly love this color. This is the only color I use. Hikila Sunrise, again, my, my favorite color of all time. It works pretty much all year round. That and some hooks, it's all you need. So you can walk away with spending less than probably $7. And you'll get a three-odd worm hook and you're good to go. And all I'm doing, it doesn't matter what you use. You use a, if you're using a bait cast, a low pro profile bait cast, just adjust your, your settings. If you haven't seen the video, go back and check out my video about how to adjust your settings. All, I, I use a bait cast for these. A spinning rod is probably more ideal and, and probably what you want to go to. But you could use anything, you know, you could, you know, you want to do the push button ones or any other type of uh, reel and rod that you can get your hands on, you're okay with. This is all you need, all you need. So go out there, any pond you fish, this is guaranteed that you catch more bass than any other thing, especially at this time of the year, and, and you're going to crush it. I'm telling you, you're going to crush it. You know, especially, again, if you have kids. I, I taught my kids how, how to bass fish. It was in the fall time, and this is what I did. And, and my son still, to this day, when he goes out and he knows it's fall time, that this is the technique he uses. He'll throw other things on out, and, and he knows that, hey, things aren't working or I'm not getting a bite. This is, this is the technique he goes to. It's always caught bass. It'll always cut your bass. I've been doing it for over 30 years. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is definitely a way to go. So we're going to slow things down. We're on the bank, and we're going to grab Berkeley Power Bait. All right. These things are seven inches. And even opening the package, oh man, even open the pack, ooh, even open the package, you can smell the goodness, and you just know you're gonna catch bass. Just open up that package. Make sure it's sealed. Alright. Right? You got a worm. And I'm going weed, I mean, I'm going weightless on this. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Bass in the fall time are gonna be moving up. 
they're, they're going to be looking to eat. And sometimes just those faster baits are just not cutting it. You know, again, the chatter baits, the swim baits, the crank baits, they're just not cutting it. Sometimes, especially on like smaller ponds of a retention pond or half acre pond or even an acre pond, you know, 80% of your bass are going to be in 20% of the water. And that's what I'm concentrating on. Like my uncle's, my uncle's pond was an acre. That's where I learned how to bass fish. And, you know, I'd probably say he had, it was pretty, pretty oval, right? One pocket, two pocket, three pocket, four. Down those edges, they're, they're, I, I never really caught that many. I caught one or two here and there. But, you know, I would concentrate on, on the places that I know bass are. And that's what you do on this. Typical worm. You got a hook. All you're doing is going into that, right? Into that head. Popping it out. Right? Bring that up into that hook. All the way to the top. Right? Now I have that. And bend that worm a little bit. Bend it, bend it, bend it, bend it. Where you have a little bit. Push that up. Push that hook up. Sometimes I bring it through just a little bit. Just so I know it can come back out. And then I bring it back out. And there you go. There, there, that's it. <clears throat> Tie it on. Cast it out there. And work it around. And, and you're going to guarantee easiest 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 way to catch fish easiest way to catch bass i guarantee you i'll fish live a night cross if you throw a night crawl out there and, and you have a bobber or whatever you're throwing it out there and you're just in that one little spot right and that's to stay in there and you're hoping that's going to attract bass and eh, sometimes bass will move and they'll be in the area and they'll come up and hit it right but this way you're working those sections of the pond again 80 percent of your fish and 20 percent of the water or the 80 20 rule and this way, this is the easiest way. And then, you know, again, you're slowing it down. The bass can't resist it. They, it's impossible for them to resist it. They're going to come up and they're going to, and they're going to grab it. All right. So I'm telling you, easiest way. Now, a couple different, I'm going to give you a couple different tricks on this, right? So we, we, we rigged it up. You tie it on. It's pretty much weedless. It, you could go through grass. But again, we're talking about this time of the year. Most of that stuff should be dead. We should have some rain. The cooler nights, the stuff should be driving driving that algae, driving that grass uh, down. So you shouldn't have any issues. It is pretty much weedless. Again, I'm not putting a weight onto it. I cast it out. You can cast out with anything you want. Again, a uh, spinning reel, a bait cast reel, or even a click ones. If you have kids, you know, that's how I taught my kids. Those little, you know, ones that you have to open up and you click on it and you cast it out there. That's, that's how I taught my kids. Cast it out there. And be patient. You're, we're not fishing a whole pond, but you know I, the way I taught my kids is just a you know it's a retention pond. There's just a couple areas. Let it go out there, let it sink, and I usually count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. I count about the five to seven, seven seconds, and I know that's pretty much down. Again, a lot of times those bass are suspended in the fall. And a lot of times they're pushed up next to that cover. And then this is where this technique will outshine any other technique out there, especially around cover, because it's so methodical and so slow. And you just go boom, boom, boom. Easiest way to catch bass. Boom, bigging after bigging after bigging. You're just crushing it. Right around that grass edges or right on um, cattails. All you're doing is that bring and just slowly you know, cast it out there. Five to seven seconds, let it drop. Get that slack, one, two, pop it, one, two, three, boom, and, and you're going to get them. All right, so you know what? <clears throat> Again, no matter no matter what you use, this will, I'll, I'm telling you, this will fish anything uh, this time of the year, pretty much any time of the year, but this more than any other time of the year, this, a weightless worm, Berkeley power bait, and a bass will hold on to it. So my second tip is when you're fishing this is, when you see it, you got to pay attention to your line. And that's the only thing that I taught my kids when I, when each of my kids, they all caught their first bass on, on this rig. And for the most part, it was always towards the fall time. And, you know, when it, you waddle, I told them, watch your line, watch your line. When you feel a little bit, when you feel a snugness or you're like tap, 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 and you're about to bring that, that slack in and you see your line moving, you know, you have a bass on there. Go back, reel that line in and then set that hook. You have time. It's not, it's not like, boom, I, oh, I got to set the hook right away. You have plenty of plenty of plenty of time. So patience, when you have a bass, they will not let go of this. And that's the key to it. 
again, especially if you don't you just, you just want to go out there and just catch some fish. You know, again, you don't want to do patterns or you don't really want to find bass and you don't want to, you know, go through a bunch of lures. I just want to catch bass, throw this out there, and I guarantee you're going to catch bass. And when they hit it, when they suck it in, all they do is just grab it and then they'll just move. And I, I've had bass sit there and if I mess around with bass in their mouth for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and I'll slide and see them swimming around. They'll, they'll take that line or swimming around. And eventually, set that hook. So you have plenty of time. So again, this is the only way to go. Easiest of all easiest of any other technique out there to catch fish, catch bass, is this, especially this time of the year. You're going to get it done. I guarantee you're going to get it done. You only need one color too. I don't mess around with the colors. I stick around with pretty basic stuff. It's a seven inch power worm, a Berkeley power bait. It's a tequila sunrise. Now, I, I've been using this for over, over 30 years, probably 35 years. I've been using the same product, the same color, and, and I'm just getting it done. All right, so let's recap. Easiest way to catch bass this time of the year. Doesn't matter if you want to get your grandkids or your kids to get a first bass. This is the technique. Don't go out there and go buy, you know, uh, night crawlers and waste your time or go out there at nighttime and digging them up and put them on a bobber. You catch a bunch of bluegill. Uh, you catch a bluegill. Kid, kids want to catch big fish. So, so let's get some bass and let them, let them experience catching the bass. All you need is this. Work with power bait. Seven inch worm. Worm hooks. Hook it up. Set it up. You don't need weight. Just let them go out there and let them just... Even, i tell you one thing, I'm, my kids caught a lot of fish just messing around. They would cast it out there and just, they would just be like messing around with the rods and choking around and boom, they would, like the bass would just come up and hit it. So as long as it's in the water and you're moving it around, again, it's around cover or around sections of the lake. It's an 80-20 rule. Concentrate on those areas. You're going to catch bass. It's this time of the year that you're going to catch the most amount of bass. All you got to do is just throw it out there Tap, 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 tap. Bring in that, uh, bring in that slap. Tap, 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 tap. And you're going to get it done. And I guarantee you, it will outfish any other technique. It's the easiest, easiest of easiest ways to catch bass this time of the year. And pretty much any time of the year, really. But this is, a, this is the time that you throw this out there. Especially when it gets late, late fall. Again, this is a bass magnet. Again, you, oh, make sure, I'm telling you, make sure you have a bunch of these. And one pack is not going to do you. Because you're going to catch so many bass, you're going to probably need four or five packs. So, you know, again, when you buy these, buy them in bulk. Make sure you have three, four of them. Make sure you have them in your bag. Make sure you have plenty of them because you'll, the bass will just tear them up because you're going to be catching so many. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.